Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to delete many documents with model.remove. Model.remove is useful to delete all the documents matching given criteria. Delete all the people whose name is Mary <laughs> using model.remove. Pass it to a query document with the name, field set, and of course a callback. Uh, the model.remove doesn't return the deleted document, but a JSON object containing the outcome of the operation and the number of items affected. Don't forget to pass it to the done function. But it, JSON object dot remove call it. Since we use that, okay. So let's just find remove. Um, we need dot remove. Delete one, prototype model dot remove, product dot remove, then function. Ed Art Stark. Okay, cool. Model dot remove. Here we're passing in a condition. First it looks like a query and then a condition. Let's look at our examples. Um, Person.replace one. Hmm. Model.remove character. Model.remove Eddard Stark. So, all right. Well, I hope that this passes us, gives us a callback. Oh, yeah, it, here it does. It does our conditions, our options object, which we probably won't use, and then we'll just callback function. And that'll just be like we've done in the past. So name to remove is Mary, so we say person, because we're getting our um, person model. And then we're going to say remove. And then we're going to say, um, yeah, I think we're just going to have to pass in a name to remove. And then we'll pass in a callback function with errors, error and a um, result. Uh, yeah, we'll just call remove removal info because that's more explicit. And we want this to be uh, called in as part of the callback function because it is the function which uh, we're using to keep our uh, app running overall. And so once this is done, we're going to return the removal info. Now, if there's an error and where we don't get the removal done properly, we want to say if there's an error, we want to return a console.log of the error. So if there's an error, we want to stop the program and log the error to our console so we can read it. Um, yeah. Let's uh, stop it, stop our server and rerun it. npm start. Looks like our server's running properly. So we can grab our server, come over to our delete many documents and paste this in there and say I've completed the challenge. It should succeed. Deleting one items once should succeed, but our test timed out. Okay, interesting. Um, so I'm just checking out this error here. Uh, it's delete meant one, delete many is, well, okay, remove is deprecated. Okay, so we're gonna have to adjust for that in the future, but for now that works. Uh, the parameter filter to remove must be an object, but they got Mary. Okay, Mary. So yeah, we're passing in a string here. And so name to remove, instead of, we could do this two ways. We could go make this an object and say name and then we'd be probably working on it properly so if I stop the server and rerun it um, our server yeah now it's listening that this is where a free code can is actually pinging the server so if we run this okay now that passed um, so yeah name to remove yeah I mean it's not really the name to remove so we could make it so that works, that's a good answer, or that's an answer that's sufficient. But then we could make the name to remove and just make it here and just go name and then set name to remove in here. Either one's kind of the same. Um, once again, with all these ones, we can get rid of these functions and make them arrow functions. Um, this is just modern JavaScript that you'll probably see. I'm just going through this because I think it might be valuable for people, you know, um, yeah. And then once we've got this working, we really don't need the instructions here anymore. So we might as well just clean up our code so we have a little bit less comments. And uh, if we were to stop our server and then rerun it, <clears throat> and we came over to here, 
closed this guy out and then resubmitted. Looks like that still works. And so I would go with this. I think that this is a better way to do it than the other one because the name to remove is explicitly Mary. And then so we're just making sure that our thing. So if we wanted to change this code, we could make our name to remove, you know, Eric or whatever, and then just throw this uh, and then not have to deal with this being an object. Um, hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.